Range anxiety. That's a phrase I haven't heard regularly for several months now. But why is that? Surely electric vehicles aren't starting to get the range that we actually need, are they? Morning. Today I want to look at range and more specifically how we as consumers seem to be driving the manufacturers to give us bigger and bigger batteries, to give us more and more range so that we can go further and further in our EVs. And when can we say, right, enough is enough. That's what we need. We don't need to go any further. Well, I thought, let's strip it right back. Let's come right back to basics and look at what a typical person would do in an EV day to day and how from that we can build to a point and what is that point where we say enough is enough. So a typical person, that's me. Uh, I thought we'd have a look at my general day to day life, whether uh, I'm working or at home and see how much range I use and how I go about doing it. So today I'm at home all day. I have uh, taken the kids to school this morning. I've then gone to the gym and I've gone to the shops. Now, I might do another little run somewhere, but ultimately I'll end up picking the kids up from school and coming back home again. Now, if I total all that up, that's probably about at most 30 miles and that's all I'm gonna drive today. And that's quite a normal day for me being at home. Uh, if I say I add another 20 miles to that in case I decide that I want to go to some shops further away or I want to go and meet a friend somewhere, I think, another 20 miles, that's fine. That's not gonna um, cause too much trouble. So 50 miles for a, a general day off for me where I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary and uh, there's plenty there for me to be comfortable, lots left over. If I go to work, then it does stretch a little bit more. My round trip to work uh, is nearly 100 miles plus a little bit of extra driving around that I might want to do. Let's say 110 miles. Uh, I can incorporate into that possibly a school drop off as well. So let's say 120 miles. That would give me more than enough to do all those things and have plenty left over that I'm not getting home worrying whether my battery's gonna run out. Uh, and all these figures I'm talking about, I want these figures to be true if it's in the depth of winter and I've got all my heating on or in the height of summer and I've got all the air conditioning on. I want to be able to do 120 miles comfortably with the air con on all the time. So that's what I'm basing on. So for me, that's kind of my general driving. Now, if we look at some figures that have been put out in the past, uh, especially when the Nissan Leaf was first launched, uh, the figures that were bounded around from the various surveys that were done suggested that 80 miles is all that 90% of the population would drive in a typical day. So actually your EV only has to cover 80 miles. Well, clearly I've just shown that that's no good for me. I need a little bit more. Um, it may be true for a lot of people, but that is very much based on somebody who drives their car out, drives it home, plugs it in at home on a driveway. Uh, that's not the case for everyone. So where do I end up? What size battery do I need? to be comfortable. Now, in my head, I want my electric vehicle to match my petrol car. Now my petrol car will do 400 miles, give or take, to a tank of petrol. So surely my EV should be able to do 400 miles. But how often do I actually travel 400 miles in a day um, out and back home again? I, I'm struggling to think of a time that I've ever done that in that car. Uh, you know, it's so rare, perhaps if I was going to travel, I don't know, to Scotland or to the south of France and I wanted to put in a big long leg. But even then, I, I'm gonna be having decent stops on the way and uh, I'll be very surprised if I cover 400 miles in one hit. So that's unrealistic. It's unrealistic to think that I need a car that can cover 400 miles. But I think because that's what we're used to, four, five, 600 miles in uh, an ice car, then we've got that mindset that we need our electric cars to be able to do that. Well, we don't, because we know electric cars can charge up while we nip into a service station or more importantly, overnight somewhere. So we don't need 400 miles. And why do we 
want to push the, the boundaries of how far we can go just so we can lug big heavy batteries around because then that's kind of counterintuitive because we're putting extra weight in the car so we can go further but we're not actually going any further so there's no requirement for that extra weight so there must be a kind of a balance point somewhere uh, if i said the name carlos gone uh, that might mean something to some of you uh, I genuinely think that name, name should mean as much as uh, Elon Musk to people. He um, he has very much been one of the pioneers of electric vehicles. Uh, he's been heavily involved in the Renault Zoe and the Nissan Leaf. He's very much a driving force behind both of those cars. And uh, I think without him, we wouldn't be as far forward as we are now. I think the only reason he doesn't get the recognition is because he's been part of Renault, been part of Nissan. And uh, unlike Elon Musk, who has been very much uh, a self-made entrepreneur that uh, we see on social media and everywhere, he gets very much celebrated where Carlos Ghosn, he's, he's an industry man. Uh, and so we don't see so much of what he does, but make mo no mistake, he is definitely up there as far as pioneers are concerned with driving electric vehicles forward. So what he says, I think is quite important and we should listen to. He said that, uh, an electric car that can go 188 miles, 300 kilometers, is all anyone needs. So let's have a look at that. So if you could go 188 miles, would that be more than enough for what you want to do day to day? And could you also see yourself doing those extra trips that you do? Because I think that's another important thing. We always say, well, 90% of your driving, you'll be able to cover in less than 100 miles. Yeah, but I, sometimes like to go to uh, Manchester. I like, that's where my wife's from. Sometimes we like to drive up there. I can do that in my petrol car. If I jump in my electric car, that becomes a real faff and it becomes very difficult to do. So I want to be able to do that. So how far is Manchester from me? Well, it's about 240 miles. So I don't necessarily need to be able to do 240 miles in one hit. I think I've only ever driven that whole journey once uh, without stopping. And that was a Christmas day. I was on my own. I was going up to see my wife and her family. So I didn't stop. But that's the only time I've ever done it. So I've always stopped. So actually I need to do comfortably 120 miles. So we come back to if your car can do 188 miles, then that's very, very comfortable. And then when you sit on a rapid charger, it's going to charge itself to 80% and you're gonna have sufficient then to get yourself on to the next, uh, to the, the destination. So for me there, 188 miles works very well. Now let's put all these rapid gate issues aside. Well, it, that's one car, one issue. We're just talking purely about a car that works and can rapid charge. And let's be honest, I'm only talking about one rapid charge. So it, even in the new Leaf, that should work. Um, so, 188 miles, that sounds quite sensible to me. Uh, what did Elon Musk say? Well, he's spoken about it also. And he said that 200 miles, uh, an electric car should be able to go 200 miles. Well, we're in the same sort of ballpark there. And I think probably from the point of view of us in our minds, getting things absolutely spot on so that we are comfortable, actually 200 miles as a figure is quite a nice figure to have in your head. It, it's enough for me to think that's way more than I normally need, but I can go on a big long journey. So that's quite a sensible figure to have in your head and um, to, to aim towards. So what size battery are we gonna to need to do that? Well, we've seen cars at the moment with 40 kilowatt hour batteries and they're doing maybe 150 miles, careful miles. I don't wanna do careful miles. I want to do proper motorway, 70 mile an hour, air con on, get there, not have to worry, not have to uh, try and drop in behind a lorry to eat a couple of, of extra miles out. So 40 kilowatt hours isn't enough, but I think 60 probably is. 60 kilowatt hours will allow me to do 70 mile an hour on a motorway for uh, what we're talking about, a half distance, 140 miles, no problem whatsoever. And then I can charge up and finish my leg if I wanted to do 240 miles, 250 miles, whatever. So. 60 kilowatt hours is probably, for me, a good balance. It's a good balance of size of battery when you talk about the weight of it and the amount of distance you can get out of it day to day. And then we can start thinking about the cost of the batteries. They are tumbling every single day. So the more those costs come down, rather than us pushing for bigger and bigger batteries that go further and further, 
well, let's stop and let's allow the cost of the batteries to reduce and then it will reduce the price of the, the rest of the car. So that's my point today. Let's forget about range anxiety. Let's forget about trying to get a, a battery uh, that will last four or 500 miles. Let's be sensible and let's think about what we actually need day to day. What we need day to day, in my mind, is 200 miles. We can achieve that with a 60 kilowatt hour battery. So let's get to that point, and we are. Let's look at the new Kona that's coming out, uh, the Nero that I spoke about before. Uh, there's a, a whole raft of cars going to be coming out between now and 2020 that will easily tick that box. So hopefully, in two years time, we're all gonna have the option to change our ICE cars to electric vehicles and range anxiety won't be spoken about ever again. So I now have to go and do my last trip of the day, go and pick the kids up from school. Um, hopefully you, that's been a thought provoking video for you. What do you think? Is 200 miles enough? Could you rely on uh, a car that could do 200 miles for pretty much every journey you ever do? Or do you think you need that extra battery and that extra range? Stick some comments below. It's always good to have a chat with you. Uh, if you uh, are on Instagram or Twitter, um, come and find me at EV Opinion. Uh, it's always good to have a chat on different platforms. And if you fancy supporting the channel, have a look at my Patreon page. All the links will be at the end. Uh, but until then, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.